Hey guys, so today we're trying to run out a ghost issue involving our clearance lights up here. They just don't seem to be working. There seems to be a short possibly in the system, but what we're gonna try first is replacing some burnout bulbs that we found and see if that works. And if it doesn't, then we're gonna have to go through, pull every single light and test them. So follow along as we try to solve the mystery. They used to work and then they started flickering and now they don't work at all. Relay location, P100. This one here is P100. This is a brand new relay that we just put in and they still don't work. So now I'm trying to figure out, because we have circuit breaker one, clearance marker lights. Circuit breaker one is our center circuit, 15 amp. So that'll be this circuit right here. So what we can't figure out is why all of our other lights work, but these ones don't. Okay, so this is the overhead light for the driver that's in the ceiling. These were the original ceiling light switch for our bus. We replaced those and ran them to our solar system, but there is no switch over here at all for those clearance lights. They are connected to our headlight switch right here, which is the pullout switch, which you see works just fine. So we're trying to figure this out. So the first step was testing the breakers with a multimeter to make sure that they had power. And we did see that it read at a 13.9. So it does have power to it. So that's definitely not the issue. So from there, we went ahead and moved some of the wires around to test and see if it was a specific breaker. And we did find a bad breaker. So we moved it to a different one and we're going to try it out again. You can hear it. It's the breaker tripping. All right, so I'm about to head out to um, AutoZone to pick up some new bulbs. Um, we shall see. At Napa. Brunswick. Gonna get some stuff. Got the bulbs. Now let's head back and see if this works. Fingers crossed. One light, two, three. Those ones are working. That one's working. That one's lighting. Those are lighting. All right, enough of that. Let's take a short break um, and hang out with a friend of mine named Sky, who is a pilot, and I'm meeting him over here at the locally owned Lovettsville Vintage Aerodrome in Lovettsville, Virginia, to go for a ride in his little plane before he comes over and hangs out for a bit. So, let's go. So how long have you been flying for? About five years. Five years. We're gonna go up in this little sucker, huh? Exciting! Oh yeah, that's a nice shot right there. On that, grab here to help yourself up. Do okay. not step here. Do not step on the wing. No expensive. step, major. Expensive. <laughs> then step down onto the seat to get it. All right. All right. <laughs> here we go. <laughs>
Thanks, guy brought us a gift. Look at this. We gotta find these people on uh, Instagram. Give them a shot. Craft cocktail in a can. And, you know. If these are actually like COVID <laughs> era, because we could not get alcohol, so they would ship these to the house. But we bought so many, I kind of overdid it on them. So I couldn't oh. drink them for like a year. <laughs> oh my God. But they're really good. Yeah. It just took a bit. And I'm a cocktail girl, so. Good. Ooh. Her sinuses just a little bit. It's nice. Why are you guys filming? Because we need it. Every time I get it. <laughs> I'm about to get up and almost confident my foot plays and it just slides out behind me. It's not fair. I can teach you the trick. Okay, so in chasing our lights, we opened up this panel here that was here and found that there is obviously wires running down here and there's some damaged areas here. So now we have to open this up and check it. These are from the speakers and stuff that used to be in here. So we're aware of what these are, um, but this is damaged. So this might be the culprit. We didn't know there were vertical wires here and we accidentally put a drill bit into them. This looks like what the wires that might be the wire that messed this up. One of those. So this looks like it's a, a, a two and one of these might be a ground that I cut through that came from that direction or from this direction. This ground might be a all the light grounds. So these two solenoids control power going in. So this one powers through here to here, and that's, I'm gonna move this one back over here. And I think what was happening is that we had a bad one, a bad breaker here that was tripping the whole system or not letting the lights turn on. And then we had a break in here from where I drilled in. And I think once we got that fixed, then we were, Break. We were having uh, losing power due to a bad ground, or even the power cable being cut. So what we had here, we had a bad breaker that was in this spot. We believe it was bad. It was not working. There's no charge being going through it. So it was attached to this cable, which was operating our lights. I put it on this one here because I assumed this was another 15 amp, um, but I don't think it was. This one also might be bad. So we need to probably check that one and make sure it works properly but this one I now have it connected to it seems to be working fine but it is not tripping the breakers anymore so everything seems to be working appropriately now okay so those wires are all fixed and we have the breaker reconnected so now we're gonna try the lights just see it right there glowing I think we fixed it. They're staying on. So what's the consensus? A, a bad breaker and a busted wire. Uh, yeah, I guess so. It seems that it's it's working off this 15 amp breaker here. I moved that cord over to the main one where that solenoid connects into, and it seems to be staying on. I still can't get this one to work, but that's a another problem to assess. Yay! It is not tripping the breakers anymore, so everything seems to be working appropriately now.